Hey everyone, I am here at Tampa Bay Comic Con. I have been teasing this for weeks and maybe even months now because I told you that I was gifted media credentials for Tampa Bay Comic Con, but I never told you why. And the reason I am here is to attend a panel with the great Disney legend, the original voice of Ariel the Little Mermaid, Jody Benson. Now, I'm not gonna be able to record in the panel, but what I will be able to do is, after I come out, give you a full recap of everything that happened in that panel. I think it's gonna be really, really exciting. This is the 35th anniversary of the original animated Little Mermaid movie, so such a great time to actually see the voice herself, Jody Benson. Do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you enjoy the video. What an amazing panel with the great Jody Benson. Of course, I did respect the rules about not recording in the panel discussions. However, at the end, Jody Benson said we could all whip out our phones if we wanted. And as long as we didn't share more than 20 seconds on social media, because she doesn't want to get in trouble with Disney, she performed a version of Part of Your World live for everybody at the panel and that is just one of those experiences I am never going to forget being maybe 15 feet away from Jody Benson as she performed her favorite Little Mermaid song so that was really really cool the entire panel was amazing this of course is the 35th anniversary of the original animated Little Mermaid movie and we are gonna have a couple podcasts dedicated to celebrating the 35th anniversary of The Little Mermaid coming up in just a few weeks. But talking about it, being able to ask questions to Jody Benson was amazing. She broke a little bit of news as well. She is going to be doing the Candlelight Processional at Epcot coming up on December 29th and 30th, even Walt Disney World hasn't announced that yet, but she actually was asked back in April and she said she consulted with her family and found a time that everybody could go and everybody could enjoy Walt Disney World for a little bit over the holidays, and she agreed to do some candlelight processionals as well. I think she said she'll do a total of six of them. And I know that people absolutely love the candlelight processional and obviously Jody Benson. She also told some really great stories about the making of The Little Mermaid from her audition and how she had just been laid off from a show and Howard Ashman uh, basically got her the audition just as a favor because the show had been canceled and it ended she never thought about it and like a year later they contacted her and said that she had gotten the job and she had almost forgotten about the whole situation so that was a wonderful story to hear and then talking about recording the songs in the studio in the recording booth with Howard Ashman who was able to breathe so quietly that his voice or his uh, breaths, his breathing wouldn't show up on the recording track. And as somebody who's worked in audio his entire life, that is very, very hard. Uh, definitely a great quality for him to have, but he wanted to be so involved in the creation of this character 
that not only was it about the written music and the written lines, but it was also about every note and just being there as every note was being sung for the movie. She talked about working with Pat Carroll, who was the voice of Ursula, and saying how there were times on the set that Pat Carroll actually scared her, like intentionally, because she was so in character with Ursula. And then telling a story about later when the Little Mermaid ride opened at Disney's California Adventure, getting to ride it with Pat Carroll, and they got to go through their story one more time, and they just wrote it over and over and over again. She talked about how much she loves going back to Disney World. She answered so many questions from so many people. Although, I think she was a tiny bit disappointed that she didn't realize she was gonna be in a very small room. So not a lot of people got into it, but being the amazing Disney legend that she is, she opened up the doors so everybody out in the hallway could just sort of gather around and hear it as well. So accommodating. An amazing person and an experience that I'm so happy that I got to have today. The 35th anniversary of The Little Mermaid is a huge deal. It kicked off the Disney Renaissance and it led to Beauty and the Beast, The Lion King, Mulan, Hercules, Pocahontas, all of these movies that we really, really love. As a matter of fact, a little girl asked her, besides Ariel, obviously, who's your favorite Disney princess? And she said that because she's had this 40 plus year relationship with Paige O'Hare, the voice of Belle, that their friendship in the real world has sort of morphed and become a friendship between Belle and Ariel in the princess world. And I thought that was a great answer. I am so appreciative of having the chance to come here to Tampa Bay Comic Con. Um, I was given a press credential and this is a major moment for our podcast that we're now able to do things like this. And I know when I was teasing that I was going to be coming to Tampa Bay Comic Con, I didn't want to say why I was going to be here. I didn't want to specifically say for the Jody Benson panel because if for some reason I didn't get into the panel or if she had to cancel for some reason, I didn't want people to be disappointed. But this was my plan all along to come here to see the Jody Benson panel and to be a part of it to celebrate the 35th anniversary of The Little Mermaid. So this might not be the longest video, but I hope you really enjoyed hearing about that. And like I said, way more Little Mermaid content coming up over the next few weeks here on the Tall Guy Talks Travel with Rick Doherty YouTube channel. And this Thursday, another brand new episode of the podcast where I am going to be covering by myself the announcements from D23 that have to do with the theme parks that aren't Walt Disney World. Maz and I have already covered Walt Disney World pretty heavily. Now I'm going to move over to Disneyland, Disney's California Adventure, and the International Parks. And we're going to talk about all of that on Thursday on a brand new episode of Tall Guy Talks Travel with Rick Doherty.
All right, I hope you enjoyed this very quick video from Tampa Bay Comic Con. Thank you so much, Tampa Bay Comic Con, for giving me the credentials so I could cover the Jody Benson panel for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna try to keep doing more unique stuff like this in the future. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.